But <laughs> another thing before we move on from the NBA is a hot topic this playoff series has been the fans. Like out of control fans you know there's Wild been out yeah, exactly dude you know like there was at the beginning of the year there was like the instance you know courtside karen if you remember that that was pretty yeah. funny but this last week or so it's just like all of a sudden everything is blown up and i don't know if it's because people are like seeing it and repeating it if that makes sense it's mm -hmm. like kind of just growing popularity based on everybody's actions but it seems like the fans are getting punished. So I don't know why people continue to do it. I, I just don't get it. Like, I mean, it's definitely a result of COVID. Like, what do you mean? Because like we've been, a lot of these people have just been locked up for a year. Like they're going, crazy. okay, I get it. I get it. Now, like, you know, fuck it. Let's go to the game and do some stupid shit. Yeah. They, they're yeah, probably I mean, drunk too. I yeah. Think. Oh yeah. They're hammered. They're hammered, especially if they're in states where the bars aren't even back open yet all the way or bars aren't doing, you know, not like Texas where it's the wild, wild west out here. Fucking awesome. <laughs> um, yeah, but our liquor if, laws suck, dude. Well, that's a subject for another day. But the bars are wide open um, yeah. here in Texas. And um, if, there, if there's places like, I guess, New York, I don't think that they're fully back open yet. But Madison so Square either. Garden is doing a thing where you know msg is back you know so hey, dude msg was rocking man msg has been rocking and, and the um, Knicks sucked <laughs> well this is a successful year for the nets they're on the right i mean the knicks they're on the right track i, I agree it was just disappointing for julius randall to play like an mvp caliber you know big man all year and then playoff time comes and he's shooting two for 14 with nine points like yeah, not not a good look. But anyway, moving on from that. Sorry, I didn't mean to get on get so, into that. Yeah, but anyway, so they're showing up to MSG. It's rocking. They've been locked inside their three square foot apartment for an entire year up in New York City. So they got hammered and they're doing stupid shit. Like, you know, it's kind of. I I feel like that has a lot to do with it. Um, I, I get that. That, that. that makes sense. I don't know what's going to be done going forward. I guess does should is the NBA going to have extra security? That's um, what I'm wondering. Like, how, what, what can I don't even think the NBA can do anything to limit this, you know? Because like, how can you stop people from sitting courtside? I just can't. I just think it's so funny. This is the first time we've ever had a real problem with this. Yeah, honestly, like, why? You know, like you said, it may be COVID. Who knows? Like, nothing. All that pent up boredom. Nothing has ever stopped people from doing this before. <laughs> you know. Like we have streakers. That's a no, that's a common occurrence. You know, at baseball we games. Streaker at the Super Bowl. Exactly. There's been yeah. like multiple streakers at MLB games this year. Not like nude streakers, you know, but people running out on the field. That's definitely way less common in basketball, though. Like people really never run out on the court. I feel like I never – I feel like every once in a while we're, we'll see like Russell Westbrook get mad at a fan. <laughs> yeah, it's it's like always – It's always Russ. It's always Russ. It's always always Russ. Bro. Because he, he's not afraid to talk to him in the stands. Like yeah. he'll talk back. He'll literally, I forgot one of them. Like he was like telling this wife, he was like, Hey, I told you, like, she was asking, like, did you just tell my husband to shut up? He was like, No, I said I'll beat his ass or something. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he just uh, doesn't he, care, bro. He doesn't, he's just, he's just, I don't know. He looks mean too. <laughs> That's his thing. It's, right. He just looks like he's pissed off sometimes. He doesn't look like a happy he, person. And he plays pissed off too. Yeah. He's like, but, uh, he, it's like he's mad that he's like so much better than everybody. He's like, God damn, I gotta go out here and do all this shit by myself again. Like, yeah. Or like, I don't know. Most of what I've seen with this type of stuff is usually players running into fans and spilling beer. Like, you know, I've never <laughs> I feel like this is the first time we've seen it where fans are just wilding out going on the court like this. Yeah, because like the the big instances I can think of is you know, Russell, that there was that popcorn incident as he was walking in the locker room recently. Trey Young got spit on. Yep, Trey Young got spit on, and then uh, there was a water bottle thrown at Kyrie in Game Four in the, the Nets right. series. Um, so, dude, basically, like to me, like the way I see the NBA fans is kind of like like a child who you you punished him, took away his toys, and then now you're giving his toys back, and, and then like you're having to put him in timeout again for abusing it. I I don't know. It's like maybe that's a weird comparison. But that's just how I see it. It's like they like the fans don't know how to act right now because like the, the stadiums are full and shit like that. Yeah, I don't know. I just I'm, I'm just going to rest my case on this is a this is another COVID year thing. It's COVID year. 
<laughs> so people yeah. are acting crazy. So we'll probably see a lot more stupid bullshit like this as, as the more and more the country opens back up. I, I wouldn't be surprised if we saw more bullshit like this. At all. Like this playoffs, I even. I wouldn't be surprised if fans kept no, going. No, no. I guess people have been assholes too. I mean, have you heard about um, – this is going to be one of my um, – love or loathe it topics but like uh people were yelling racist shit at john morant's family and what the in fuck utah. yeah did you not hear about this they were I like not i don't know what they said but apparently they were saying some racist shit to john morant's family and then john the owner of the jazz turned around and gave john morant's family and friends and family courtside seats so they wouldn't have to deal with you know scumbags of salt lake city dude what the, the fuck i would not but yeah so I people would not expect been, Salt Lake City to be rowdy like that, you know? Yeah, so people have just been acting like assholes all over. And I guess it's true, too, because when I went to the Rangers game, I did kind of talk shit to this Houston Astros fan just because... That's uh, different, though. That's, that's different. Couple, yeah, but, like, still, I don't know. Astros fans, I guess not so much the fans, but just the Astros deserve all the shit talk they get. Yeah, well, I said some less than desirable things about the city of Houston to that person. Well, it's a less than desirable city, so I mean, <laughs> you were just speaking facts. Very true. Like, very true. I didn't say anything that wasn't true. Yeah, 